Hey guys, Tech Made Easy. Hope all is well. Have I got a treat for you. Today, I'm going to be doing a detailed review with a demonstration on the Epson 1060 Home Cinema Projector. Okay, to me, this is one of the best projectors for the money, honestly. I did a lot of research and uh, I, I definitely test a couple more projectors from time to time. And I thought, you know what, it'd be really good to put this review up to show you guys uh, this projector. So with that, I will be right back. Again, I am going to be showing picture samples, video samples. I'm going to show the settings. Um, I'll, I'll make sure you have all of the information. So we will be right back. Hold tight. Okay, guys, I am back. And I am going to go over what's included with this projector. And then I will also go over the projector. We'll go around it. We'll take a look. We'll see what ports and all of the advantages it has. Okay, let's go ahead and start with the remote. So this does come with a nice size remote, guys. Now, you do get your power cord. And you do not get any HDMI cables or VGA cables. So just be aware of that. I will include those in the description if you're interested, um, as well as some special cables if you want to use your smartphone with this projector, like an iPhone or an Android phone. Um, there are three different cables you can choose from. They don't cost much, and you'll be able to connect it to this projector and actually show your pictures and your videos to your friends and your family. So let's go ahead and spend some time and go over this projector, and uh, let's take a good, good look and see... Um, what we got. All right. From the front, a couple of things I love. So if you want to adjust your projector up and down, all you do is drop this and you can adjust it up or down depending on where you are projecting your image. All right. So that goes right in. Very easy to use. An IR blaster is here. If you're going to be using this from the front, there is also an IR blaster in the back. It depends on where you're going to be mounting this, by the way. Here is the lens, and as you can see, it's covered, right? So it's got a really nice cover, and check this out. Click that, use it when you're going to use it. Close it back up, protect that lens, okay? Um, this is an LCD technology uh, projector, by the way. It has three LCDs, and that's what makes it so bright, even in the daytime. Um, you have your fan here, all right? And it will get a little loud and it will get a little hot, but it's worth it. And you're really not going to have this near you because you're going to be projecting. You're going to be projecting your image. All right, guys. Um, that's it for the front. Let's go over to the side. There's nothing here on this side. I believe this is the panel that you would take off to to change your bulb. Now these bulbs, you know, they I think they last eight thousand hours, something like that. Um, they are super bright. LCDs are definitely brighter than LEDs, um, and I'll show you some information on that on the screen in a moment. And uh, if we go to the back, we can now take a good look at our ports. So I want you to see, if we start here, this is your plug. You plug your plug in there. Here is your USB-A. Here is a USB-B video port depending on if you use that cable, your VGA, which a lot of people still have, but now more and more people have HDMI. These two HDMI ports, this is a regular HDMI port, this is an HDMI 2, or you can connect an MHL cable to this. Some people bought those MHL cables that they can connect to their smartphone, all right? Now, let me also say that if you're going to want to connect this with your smartphone, what I recommend that you do is you can, if you have an Apple, in the description, I'm going to have a USB, excuse me, an, uh, a lightning cable to HDMI. You're going to connect this directly from your Apple iPhone or your iPad to this HDMI port. Now, if you have an Android phone, I have a link in the description for this specific cable. This cable will work with micro or type c phones but more importantly your phone has to support mhl video function so make sure that before you buy this cable the link will be in the description 
This is your IR blaster. If you want to connect something older to this, you can use the RCA. Some people still use that. This is video, audio, audio. Okay, here is your speaker. And guys, this projector has something that I, ha I don't see on a lot of projectors, at least the sub 100 projectors, those inexpensive projectors. This actually has the wheels. And what's nice is, is you can adjust the height so if, if your projector is, is uh, you know, your screen is kind of awkward, you can make the adjustment on, on the back. So you have back adjustment on the left and the right side. I love that. All right. On the bottom, nothing much. Okay. You do have your screw holes for your mounting. So you have one there. You have one here, one here. And I think that's it, if I'm not mistaken. All right, so it's a special mount that you would buy to mount this to the ceiling. Now, let's look at the last part of the projector. Let's look at the actual projector itself. Um, so a couple of things. You, you do have some controls here, okay? So you first of all, you will get warnings if the temperature gets too hot or if your lamp is going bad, okay? And there is a Wi-Fi here, and I don't know what that's about, guys. I wish I could tell you. Your power button, and if you hit it again, it turns off. Your source, your home screen, your menu, okay. Um, your keystone, you have it here, but you also have the keystone adjustment up here. Um, your volume, down and up. Your escape button, okay. And then let's go over to the top area here. So, you do get... A zoom control and I'm going to try to give you better lighting there it goes all right so um, and it's hard to not to put my finger but this one here is for zoom control okay so it depends on how much you want to zoom in or zoom out it's going to be the bottom one with the W and the T on it all right the top button one here is actually for um, focus okay so you're going to use this to get a good focus all right and guys that's it I mean, this is a really nice projector. It sells for $699. Um, definitely going to be more than some of the other projectors that are out there. But projectors can go thousands and thousands of dollars. So, so if you're going to be using this as your home TV, um, you know, and you can now get a, you know, this goes up to 300 inches, by the way. Um, so think about that. If you want a 300-inch TV, you know, you could use this. Now, all honesty, I have to tell you, I think you want to be around 150 uh, to probably get uh, optimal resolution with these guys. But I have not gone as far as 300 inches. Okay. So I hope that helped. Okay. More to come. Thank you for your time and your patience. Hey, guys. So this is what this um, projector stand looks like. Uh, just fold it up. You know, I usually put it in my basement. But um, yeah, it's really nice 100 inch projector screen and really folds up into nothing, which is really cool. Here is a nice view of the 100 inch projector screen I'm going to be using. Pretty cool, huh, guys? All right, guys, we are about to run a video that's going to have pictures and video samples of my own personal property, okay? Again, this is the Epson 1060 Home Cinema Projector. It is a 15,000 to 1 contrast ratio. This is a native 1080p projector, okay? And it actually is extremely clear. Um, in the daytime, it's pretty good, and especially at night. I'm going to be turning the light off in a minute. Okay, it is actually projected onto my 100 inch uh, projector screen. All right, again, I will have links in the description if you're interested in the projector or the screen. But let's take a look at some quality. Let me go ahead and turn off the light and start the video. Now I'm going to zoom in. I want to make sure I'm giving you the best picture I could give you. And here we go. All right, guys. 
pictures. Now it's time to show you some pictures and some video samples. By the way, the sound is coming from the projector, okay? The speaker is not bad at all. It sounds really good. And it's on level 8. So let's take a look. <coughs> well, the first picture is uh, from Hawaii, actually. This is beautiful. Same thing with this one. And here's another. And another. Look at the color. And another. Here's some video samples now. This was in New York City. I had a walk about two years ago. And so we decided to film and take some video. Next one coming up, I believe, is from Hawaii. There you go. That was Maui, by the way. Beautiful place. Next one coming up is my beautiful dog, Brooklyn. Just trying to show you guys some different colors and things so you can really uh, look at this and, and see if it's actually helping you out. The next one is going to be a praying mantis. And again, different colors here. That's what I'm going for. All right, so there goes my lovely Brooklyn. There's some color there, different colors. Redstone and a praying mantis. And the next one is actually going to be some fireworks at night in Brooklyn, New York. Let's take a look at that. There you go. Wow, huh? Nice stuff. It was a nice night. That was actually not too long ago. The greens, some, some colors in the background, whites that you could see. Next one coming up is going to be after it snowed in the morning. Take a look at this. Let's see what this looks like. That tree no longer exists, but uh, yeah, it was pretty. You know, it was very pretty. The whites and all the snow. Next one is going to be on a cruise. We went on a cruise, and so I said, let me shoot the ship. Just a little bit. Let's take a look at the ship. Uh, I'm going to have a beach scene coming up in a little while in the, at night. Actually, this is in the morning when the sun's coming up. All right. So you're going to see some nice reds and some blues. Here we go. Early in the morning, the sun coming up. I took my Brooklyn out in the morning on the beach before anybody, and they allow that. It was really nice to do. And we were able to get some nice footage. Next one is local. It's just a park. But I said, let me get some of the fall foliage. And again, so you can see some color in the sky. Okay. And that's it there. Very nice. Just want to give you as much as possible so you can really see. stuff. Guys, I want to give you a short sample of what this projector looks like when lights are on. I have lights behind it and on both the right and the left side on in my living room. I will zoom out a little bit so you can see and then zoom back in. I mean, you know, again, even in light, this projector looks nice. Let me just do a little sample real quick. Looks like that tree no longer exists, but uh, yeah, it was pretty, you know, it was very pretty whites and all the snow. Next one is going to be on a cruise. We went on a cruise and so I said let me shoot the ship just a little bit. Let's take a look at the ship. Look how that looks. Uh, I'm going to have a beach scene coming up in a little while in the, at night. Actually this is in the morning when the sun's coming up. All right. So you're going to see some nice reds and some blues. Here we go. Early in the morning, the sun coming up. All right, I hope that helped, guys. All right, guys, thank you so much for taking the time and watching this video. 
Hey, if it helped you in any way or you enjoyed it, definitely give us a thumbs up. You know, we always ask for that on the channel. It really does help our channel. If you're new to the channel and you want to subscribe, take a moment and hit the Tech Made Easy logo on the upper right hand corner. You'll join the family. And don't forget, after you click subscribe, make sure you hit the bell so you get notified of new videos. I will also put some links to some other videos here as well as down here. And hey, don't forget about our links in the description. If you're thinking about getting a projector or a bag or a stand or anything. All right. Thanks so much. Have a wonderful day.